Hello and welcome to My Favorite Crafty Things of 2016. This is Jennifer McGuire. I've been getting a lot of requests to do this again this year. Now I have a few things I want to mention first. First of all, I'm going to show you all my favorite products from the year. It's hard to pick and choose, but I managed to pull some lists together. Keep in mind that I'm kind of like setting up a bunch of mannequins in a store. You're supposed to look around and see all the different outfits or the different things that you can get, but not buy them all. That's not the intention. The intention is I'm kind of putting them on display so you can see them and decide if any are good for you. I also want to take a moment to apologize if things are missing or I can't find examples for each. I recently moved and my stamp room is being built right now. So a lot of things are in temporary storage. Or I just can't find them in my temporary craft room. I apologize for that. And last but not least, be sure to go over to my blog. When you go there, you'll see that I have discount codes throughout the My Favorite Crafty Things series, and I'll have lots of great giveaways. So be sure to head over there also. I'll have a link below so you can easily find everything. Okay, so I am going to start today with my favorite stamps and my recommended stamp care. So in this video, I'm focusing on my favorite stamps for 2016. These are stamps that I feel have a lot to offer and I'm hoping you like them too. Be sure to check out my second video for day, today that focuses on stamp care. Okay, so for stamps, I'm going to divide them into categories. I think that's helpful. And I'm first going to start with sentiment stamps because I feel that this is the core of every handmade card that we make. Okay, so first we have my favorite things, Essential Sentiments. I like this because it's a bigger stamp set that is packed full of all the basics that you need, plus a few more playful sentiments. It's a basic font that you can team up nicely with pretty much any stamp that you may have. I often use sentiments like this one to kind of stamp on a cardstock strip and place right below a large word die. I think it's important to have something like this in your arsenal of stamps. Here's an example of the Hello Beautiful sentiment that I used on a simple card that I created at a retreat last weekend. Now we have the Hero Arts Essential Messages. The nice thing about this stamp set, it has a lot of the basic sentiments that you need, and it has a variety of fonts in it that work with a variety of styles of cards. I also like that there are sentiments that work with just about any occasion, such as sending smiles or hello there. You can make that a birthday card or thinking of you or anything you want. There are also a lot of simple encouragement messages, and I make a lot of encouragement cards. I also like the small sentiments in this Essentials by Ellen warm fuzzy stamp set. There are the basic greetings in here, but also some that are fun to kind of team up with other stamps you may have, like critter stamps or other things. Here are two card examples. I really like the You Brighten My Day and also the Under the Weather. Another stamp set that has some creative sentiments but are just as useful is the Paper Smooches Fun and Flirty. In fact, I've used some of these so many times that I had to take them off the stamp set so you could read them. These are a little bit bigger and really work for a lot of happy occasions. I have several examples, and by the way, if you wanna see these examples that I'm showing you, just do a search on my blog of the name of the stamp set and they'll all pop up. And I will say this Paper Smooch's Fun and Flirty stamp set is one of my top 10 of the year. Okay, now we have another from My Favorite Things. This is Kind Thanks. I make a lot of thank you cards. I really like that this offers the thank you and thanks in different sizes at the top, and then many sentiments that you can team up with it or you can use separately. I also like that you can use the, some of them on the inside of the card, so you have something to put in there too. I do include the matching dies for this on my favorites list of dies for the year also, so you'll see that tomorrow. Next, we have Right at Home Script Greetings. I am in love with this stamp set. This is one of those that has kind of everything I need out of a sentiment. I like the word bless so much and that the smaller little sub sentiments will fit in nicely with them. Sometimes it's hard to fit them in, but this one, this one fits together nicely. I also like that the thank you is so large and looks handwritten because I'm not good at handwriting and you could maybe gold emboss that across the center of a card and keep it very simple. If you like larger cursive sentiments, the My Favorite Things All Occasion Sentiments has pretty much every occasion you need. I really like the praying for you and sending hugs because again, that can be used for many occasions. It also has the basic sentiments that you would need for other occasions. 
Now this one, I think also teams up very nicely with the essential sentiments I showed you at the beginning of this video. So you could stamp get well soon and then put I'm here for you underneath it. Create something new and different every time. Lawn Fawn's Big Scripty Words is so fun and playful and very unique. Now you can just stamp these across a card or you can use them maybe like on the trail of a balloon, the string of a balloon, put a balloon on the top, or you can stamp it so that the birds are holding the message. And there are coordinating dies available to cut out these script words if you like. Next, we have a beautiful stamp set from Simon Says Stamp called Thankful Hearts. Now, my friend Christina Warner did the lettering in this, and I think it's beautiful. Simple gold heat emboss is all you need for a card using these. So there are beautiful larger sentiments, but what I really like is the thanks message along with the so smaller sub sentiments you can stamp under it and they fit together perfectly. There are also a bunch of small little messages like thank you and love you in this that you could even stamp on the inside of a card or on the flap of the envelope. I think this is such a classic beautiful set. Another beautiful set is from Mama Elephant. This is Hello Friend Wishes. You have that large Hello Friend that you can stamp in the middle of a card and make it really prominent. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull up a card that's four and a quarter by five and a half so you can kind of see how big it is in relationship to that. The sub messages or the tiny little ones along the bottom. I'm also using on a lot of cards without that large hello friend. There's just some beautiful unique sentiments there that work well on a lot of cards. So here I used I miss you I miss you that's all along with a hello sentiment. And then here I have another example. This one uh, says, may today be filled with smiles. And it works well with the celebrate sentiment. So you can team them up with many things and get a lot of use out of it. Now, unfortunately, we have to make a lot of sympathy cards, or at least I do. This is a beautiful set for that. There is a coordinating die if you'd like that. But the sub sentiments on this, I think, are beautiful. I like that they include our thoughts and prayers are with you and my thoughts and prayers are with you. So if you want to give it from yourself or from your family, you have that option. And a lot of the sentiments are that way. So you can use this not just for sympathy, but just for a general encouragement card also. On this example, I use the my thoughts and prayers are with you along with a hello message just for a general encouragement card. And then here I use the sympathy die that matches this along with one of the sentiments. And by the way, these cards I'll have in a future video. I really am loving this new stamp set from My Favorite Things called Deepest Sympathy. Again, this works for sympathy cards, but also works for general I'm thinking about you or get well cards, sending prayers, sending you strength, a lot of peace and comfort sentiments here. Now I've used this just a couple times with Versamark ink and white heat embossing, but it really works with many styles of cards and you'll be seeing me use it in future videos. I find I use encouragement mes messages like this and thank you messages the most. Next, we have an alphabet set from Concord and Ninth. This is an amazing stamp set called Perfectly Penned. It has the script upper and lower case. It has a basic font and numbers, and then also things that you can use to decorate envelopes. I've recently done a video using this where I personalized the front of a card with the person's name. And then I also showed how I use it to decorate envelopes or to put the address on envelopes. This is something really special that can really kind of take your card up to the next level by offering the personalization and by decorating the envelope. Another great stamp set for personalization is the Your Next Stamp Little Letters and Numbers. These are nice because you can mount them together on an acrylic block or in a stamping tool and stamp all the letters at once. And that's how the Love You was done here. Or you can stamp them individually so they're spaced tighter together. I like that you can team this up with maybe a happy birthday sentiment or any other kind of sentiment and make it more personal. Or you can use it to stamp the person's name on the envelope. For a larger set or bigger letters, I like the Waffle Flower Cutaway Alpha. Now the nice thing about these is that you can mount them onto an acrylic block very close together. So you can have very tight spacing and be able to fit a larger word in a tighter space. Here I just put together the word, the letters hi, and I thought it'd be fun to maybe stamp a person's name on the front of a card, a bunch of them. Maybe stamp Sarah repeatedly on a bunch of cards and then stamp tiny little flowers around it so that you have a personalized set of note cards. 
Okay, so moving right along, sorry, I gotta be fast. This is gonna be a long video. We have background stamps. Background stamps are so versatile and fabulous for many different types of techniques. I also prefer them over patterned paper because you can make it exactly how you want it. The first background stamp that I recommend is from Simon Says Stamp. It's called You Matter, and it has just different sentiments about you matter, you're amazing, different things like that. So they work on the background of any type of card. These are six by six background stamps. You can stamp them vertically or horizontally on a card. I like these words. You can stamp them with maybe a subtle look on the background, or you can make it more prominent by stamping it colorful on a background. You could even stamp and cut out different greetings from this one. Here are a couple examples using them. On these, I white heat embossed on vellum and also stamped with a light color on white just for a background. And then on this one, I used it for heat embossed technique behind some alcohol inks. I'll share this video soon, but you can see you can get a variety of looks out of it. Another beautiful background stamp is My Favorite Things Bundle of Blossoms. I have a video also coming out with this one soon. It has very detailed flower background. Now, I think this is great for a soft background like the one you see here, but what would be, would be fun is to stamp this with black ink on a bunch of cards, then give them as a set of cards with some stamp separate sentiments and some colored markers so people could color them in and create their own set of note cards. This is just a beautiful one, great for coloring, great for spotlight coloring or just a subtle background. Another that I've used several times recently is the Simons Stamps Circle Doodle. This is just a beautiful background, especially for tone on tone or for white heat embossing and dropping different colors of watercolor into the each of the circles. I know that Simons' Stamp website and blog have a lot of examples using this. I used it in the background of a shaker window for some subtle look in the example that you see here. And I have some examples coming out soon where I did the watercolor with white heat embossing. So I'll be on the lookout for that also. Now we have my favorite thing, scallop. Now this one is fun, of course, for a tone on tone background, but what you can do is stamp it once in one color, then shift it slightly and stamp it in another color for a fun overlapping technique. This is one of those that works in a variety of style of cards. You can also stamp it sideways or upside down on a card and get new looks out of it. Now this year I've used the Hero, this Hero Arts background many times. It offers tiny little dots, but there's a subtle pattern to it. So it works great on a variety of style of cards. You can see I used it for some white heat embossed resist on the background of this Wishes card here. Now here is what it stamps like. You can see that subtle pattern that kind of radiates from the center of the card. I even used it for a subtle tone on tone background on the silver card that you see here. This is from an online card class class. It was called Wild Card, so be sure to check that out if you haven't. Okay, so now that we have covered backgrounds, it's time to move on to layering stamps. Layering stamps are becoming more and more popular. These are stamps that you stamp on top of each other to create something extra special or realistic looking. Altenew has many layering stamp sets, and the first that I wanted to showcase is Tulips. The nice thing about this set is there are several layers you can stamp on top of each other for a quick, realistic look, and then you can stamp the outline on top of that, or you can just stamp that outline separately, the outline of the tulip, and color it in however you want. I like that you can use them separately or together to get more use out of the stamp set. This is a large set. Now, I don't have an example with you to share, but I did stamp this tulip in a video very quickly. I plan to make a set of note cards for my mom with different colored tulips and simple sentiments under it. I just think it's beautiful. Next, we have Altenew Majestic Blooms. Now, this is a stunning set. You can stamp the outline by itself, like I did repeatedly on the background of this card example you see here, or you can team up that outline with the layered images or use them separately once again. There are the leaves also. Now I did stamp this flower and the leaves with this stamp set. I haven't put it on a card yet, but look how realistic it looks. I've always wanted to be an artist and with these layering stamp sets, I feel like I am. Next, we have the W plus nine Be Merry Florals. Now this is meant to kind of be for holiday, but I think it would work all year round and I am just dying to use it again. I used it to create little stamped images around a personalized note card set I did, but I wanna use it more on a card and I'll share soon. Here are the images that you can create with that stamp set. I think it's just beautiful and it's a smaller set, so the price point is great. 
Now we have the reverse con confetti bloom set. Now this has a more playful look to it, so you can stamp the layers of leaves together, but check this out. Like for that little tulip shape on the bottom, you stamp the solid, and then that playful decorative image right on top. I like that the, this is a layering set, but it's very simple, easy to layer, and gives a more playful look to it. A lot of the layering sets are more realistic, so this is a nice change. I use this set also in that online card class, wild card class, and you can see the flower that I created here with that set. I just love it. Now we have W plus nine summer blooms. This is another unique stamp layering set where the pieces kind of fit together. So you stamp kind of that outside kind of piece first, and then you stamp the inside piece right inside of it. And you can do multiple colors. You can get really unique looks and build up all these little images in many different ways. I use these for a faux watercolor card from my mom uh, earlier this year. Didn't shoot the video, but I promise I'll use it in a future video. I like all the tiny little details that it has to offer too. You can even form a butterfly out of these. Now my friend Jana Millen sent me this card and said I could share it in this video. I like how she used the larger images to create this beautiful background. I absolutely love it. So she didn't use any of those details and you can see how just how gorgeous it is as is. You can get a lot of life out of this stamp set. Another stamp set that you can use in many ways is the My Favorite Things Bold Bloom set. Now I had used this for a bunch of cards and I can't find it in my craft room so I rebought it so I could show it to you. But you can see all the different basic images here that you can stamp on top of each other. I like the outline of the leaves that you can stamp the solid part inside to save you time on coloring. You can use them together or separate. I also like that it has a more um, clean look to it than a lot of the layering stamp sets. Here is the example from the My Favorite Things website of the different ways that you can use it together. I just wanted to show you very quickly how the little berry blossom is so fast to stamp. I first stamp the leaves in the green ink and then I stamp the berries in the blue ink. They're all together on one stamp, so you don't have to do them each individually. Just two stamps and you're done. I like that there's a lot of thought put into these stamp sets so that we don't have to put a lot of thought into them. Now I wasn't going to use any holiday stamp sets for my favorite crafty things, but I had to include Sunny Studios Holiday Style. The images on here are the most realistic stamped images I've ever been able to get. So I use the ornament on this card here. You can see I use the evergreen bit also, and you get a beautiful looking ornament. But honestly, it's the bell. That bell is amazing. Look at that bell. You just stamp it in th three times and you have the most realistic image. I just can't believe it. In fact, I added some heat embossing on top just so it's had some shine. I am so excited about this stamp set and the video showing these cards will be up in a few days, so stay tuned for that. That is an amazing stamp set. Another really good layering set, one that really knocked my socks off, is the Hero Arts Cardinal. You just easily stamp these on top of each other. The face and the feet are even separate so you can get the coloring just right. It's not hard to line these up, very easy. You could probably stamp them and cut that little tuft off the, off the top of his head to make it a different type of bird for all year round if you wanted to. I have used this in a past video and it's just an absolutely beautiful stamp set. Another fun one for layering from Hero Arts is the Goldfish stamp set. This is one that you could stamp with any colors of ink on top of each other and get a fun and playful fish. It has all the images separate. There are two layering fish here and then the things that you need to build a little scene with it. These are just so realistic looking, it's amazing. Another fantastic layering set is the Big World stamp set from Altenew. Now you can see I'm just starting to use it. I am amazed at how well this starts to layer. So there are all the different images you need to layer to create some different globe scenes. But what's really fantastic are the sentiments that go with it. You make my world a better place. You mean the world to me. You make my world go round. Uh, adventure awaits a lot of different sentiments that you can get out of this one set. You could even team them up with other images you may have. I haven't finished my card example using them, but this is how the images layer together. Absolutely beautiful and such a unique set. Okay, so this brings us to stamp and die combos. Now many of these can be bought together or separate, but I think together is better because they work so well as a team. So the first example you can buy these separately is Avriel's Simply Said Hugs. This is a newer one, a small stamp set, so it's a great price point. And then the die set has the hugs and the shadow for the word hugs. 
I make a lot of hugs cards because they can be used for so many different things. Now the hugs die cut is really intricate. It's beautiful and the shadow is in the set too. So you can layer on top of each other. I love doing the shadow in vellum. And that hugs die cut matches up nicely with the sentiment stamp. So you could even stamp the word hugs on the shadow if you'd prefer to do that. Another stamp set and die set from Avriel is called Sentimental. They're sold separately. The die set has Hello, Thanks, Hugs, Congrats, and Celebrate. And the stamp set does too. So you can use them together or separately. And look how intricate these are. The fun thing about these dies is that they stretch easily across a card, even at a slight diagonal if you wanted to. Or you can cut those extensions off each side and just have the word without those little uh, string thingies on both sides. Same with the stamp set. And the stamp set has the little sub sentiments that work nicely with either the stamps or the dies. Again, you can buy these separately, but I'm telling you, you kind of cover all your bases if you get the two together. One die that I'm using a lot this year is a Impression Obsession Wishes die, simply because it's unique. I like that it says wishes and the stamp set you can stamp get well with it or warm wishes or birthday wishes so you can make it for a lot of occasions. Now I did create a bunch of cards with this on my own. Here is one example that I have. I did some ombre inking on it and I just teamed up a happy birthday message from a different stamp set with it. That wishes is absolutely beautiful. And by the way, they are sold separately. Same thing with these neat and tangled awesome stamp set and dies. This is another one of those great die sets that has the shadow and the word. So you can put them together or separate and you can use a stamp on it. Check out how nice this looks with the layered die cuts. The sentiments are beautiful that go with it, really fun and playful. I'm using these quite often. I have some examples and videos. Be, be sure to search my blog to find these. These are so much fun to use and very unique. Now, I think it's really important to have a good hello die in your stash, and this is a great one. This is from Pink and Main. It's called Hello Friend. Now, there's the die set, and then there is that small stamp set that you see there, and they can be used together or separately. I love the size of this hello die cut. It's nice and large. It fills a card. Here's an example where I used it, and I think it's also fun that Pink and Main's dies are actually pink. Now we have the Simon Says Stamp You Matter stamp set and die. You can buy them separately or together, and they kind of go nicely with the You Matter background that I showed you earlier. You can use these together in so many different ways. There are a lot of examples on the Simon Says Stamp website, and I've used them in a previous video also. I like that so many of these sentiments are encouragement, and we can always use more of those types of cards. Now next from Mama Elephant, we have the Meowie Woofmas stamp set and die set. They're sold separately, but you really want to get them together. And although this is a holiday stamp and die set, I think it can be used all year round. The die set creates cuts this door that opens up. You can stamp the door decorations on it. There's steps leading up to it, and you can stamp anything inside of it, maybe a little critter in there or a message. You can decorate this to be a spring card. You can make it anything you want. I just think it's fun that the door opens up to show something inside. Now this is a new stamp set and die set from Honeybee that I am so excited to use because it is so creative. It's called Thanks and Giving. With the stamp set, you can create large words that say thank you, thanks, thankful, give, given, giving, full, anything you want with this pretty much. And then there are the sub sentiments that you can team up with it. Now along the same lines, there is the die set that cuts all those pieces. So you can create different words with the one set. So I'm going to be using this in a video soon. I just had to include it on my list because I thought it was so creative. Honeybee also has many other sets like this that create words of kindness, of prayers, of happy. I encourage you to check out all the different options they have. Now this stamp set is one of the biggest they have to offer and this die set has the most dies in it. But I really think you can get a lot of bang for your buck with them. Now the stamp and die set that I have definitely used the most this year is the Hero Arts Prayers. Now this stamp and die are sold together in one pack. And the price point's pretty good because the stamp set is smaller. Now this is one that I personally use a lot because I like these type of sentiments. And I like that I can team up different things with the words prayers. Now I have many examples using this on my blog, so be sure to check it out. Here are the couple ones. This one I cut the word prayers from some craft foam and then heat emboss the message. Here I did some layering and some gold embossing. It's just a beautiful set to have. 
Okay, so now I have a new category that I call envelope stamps. After we put in so much time and effort into a card, I really feel like we should put a little attention towards those envelopes that we're putting our cards into. So there are a few stamp sets that I recommend for decorating your envelopes. The first is from Hero Arts, it's called Happy Mail. I like to stamp hugs enclosed or the special delivery on the front of a card. You have the little mailing strip that you can stamp on the back with red ink, cute little envelope with a heart. It's just something fun that you can add to any style of card. Now one that I use a lot and always with white heat embossing because it looks so sharp on a colored envelope is the Right at Home Happy Mail 2 set. Hugs Enclosed is great. The Please Deliver to looks nice right above the address and the quite possibly the happiest mail you'll receive today is always fun to use also. Now the Lawn Fawn Just For You. Now this you can use to stamp on your envelope or you can stamp it on the back of your card. Lots of cute images here. You can even use them on tags for other handmade gifts that you may create. Absolutely adorable images in the set. Another envelope stamp set is the Technique Tuesday Snail Mail. You can stamp this on your envelope or the back of your cards. I like the one that says, Happy Mail, uh, get ready to be amazed. And then I made this, yes, it's a masterpiece. Just fun and playful, a great way to make your cards extra special. Now this next one's very unique. This is a postcard stamp from Amy Tangerine. This is what the stamp looks like. It would stamp this image here. But what I did is I cut the flower off of it because you can cut up your clear stamps so that I could have an empty space up there without that flower so that I could stamp something matching on it. So basically you just get a heavy white piece of cardstock and you can stamp this on one side and then stamp and decorate and color, do whatever you want on the other side. And then you're sending a postcard instead of a card. And I think that's fun. So say I create a holiday scene on one side, I could stamp something matching up in that top corner since I cut off the flowers. But I always could stamp the flowers how they were originally intended if I wanted to. Okay, we're in the home stretch. We're two other stamps, just other stamp sets that caught my attention this year. The first is Paper Smooch's Mirror Block Stamps. These are great for mirror stamping technique where you can get two images that face each other or face away from each other when you only have one. So if you search on mirror stamping on my blog, you'll find a video showing that. Now you can also use this to maybe uh, do an ink smushing technique or just ink up the large image with a soft ink and then you can just use it as a backdrop. Many techniques can be done with this great mirror stamp set. Now a newer company on the block is Ink Blot and this is the Floral Frenzy. This is a large stamp set that is so much fun. I love the doodle look. You could stamp this with a light ink and trace over it with gel pens. I just did that in a recent video. You can create a background with this. It even includes cute little smiley faces that you can add to the flowers to make even more playful. Now I am currently using this with some white heat embossing and quick watercolor to make a note card set for a teacher and I hope to be able to share that here on my YouTube channels too, soon. Another beautiful big stamp set is the Honey Bee Zen Garden. Look how big that image is. It's glorious. This would be another fun one to stamp with black on white cardstock and give with some separate sentiments and some markers to someone as a little gift set to create their own cards. This is fun to color, do spotlight coloring techniques, or you can just gold heat emboss it off the corner of a card. It's such a beautiful stamp set. Another beautiful set is from Clearly Besotted. It's called From All of Us. Now Clearly Besotted is taking a little bit of a break, but you can still order their stamps from Simon's Stamp. Absolutely classic images. They're always easy to color and have beautiful sentiments with it. I use that bottom flower quite often on cards for my mom. I make sets of cards for her with that because she loves those flowers. And here's an example that I made for an online card class that was called Heat Wave. It was all about heat embossing. So it's a beautiful set if you're looking for a floral. Another set that I've really enjoyed this year is the W Plus 9 Mums. Now this one in the past I have white heat embossed and done some rough watercolor. But if you want to try the no line watercolor technique or coloring technique, this would be a great one because you feel like an artist when you use it, although I have no skills with it. It's just a stunning image. You could even just stamp it repeatedly for a background or you can just gold heat emboss it with maybe some sparkle gold embossing powder for a simple card. Now from Hero Arts is a Spring Hello. Now this could be considered a stamp or a sentiment stamp set, but I also like the little images in it. You can build fun little scenes around your sentiments if you want to with this. 
gorgeous looking and it's a small set so the price point is really nice. Now a bigger set that's really fun is the Winnie and Walter Kindness set. There are some fun and playful doodled trees in this that you could use in many different ways. But really what impresses me is the messages of kindness that you can get from this stamp set. After all, I really think this world could use a lot more kindness. So it's fun to make some simple cards that you can give to just about anyone with this set. Another one of my most used stamp sets this year is the My Favorite Things Geometric Greenery. I like this set because the sentiments are incredible. They are absolutely incredible and great for thank you cards. And the images can be used for feminine or masculine cards. You can use them all, se all year round for any season. Absolutely great. I do have a video where I made a bunch of cards using these and stamped the sentiments repeatedly to create a fun background. So be sure to check that out too. Another set that would work for a variety of different occasions and for masculine or feminine cards is the Jane's Doodles Cactus Set. Great images for coloring here. I really like the You're Awesome sentiment down there. I use it for so many cards that I actually have it stuck to one of the containers in my office, so I don't have to keep getting the stamp set back out again. That's a great set to have. And Reverse Confetti All Apples. Now, I am a big fan of teachers. I like to spoil teachers rotten because they have the hardest job in the world. This stamp set is all about the teachers. Here's a card that I made that I'll show in a video soon that shows how these apples are stamped. Many different messages in there. Another stamp set that I use for teacher cards or you can use for other things is the Lawn Fawn Thinks a Bushel stamp set. Cute little greetings down there, but what's most fun about this are the cute little faces that you can stamp on the apples, or you can stamp those faces on any other image that you may have to make it more fun and playful. Now my favorite people type stamp set of the year is the Neat and Tangled Better Together. I like that you can kind of change them up if you want to. You could put pigtails on this one on the top. You could change up how they're dressed. You can also change what they're holding. I also like the sentiments that has hugs, miss you, and hello that you can use with other images also. This is a great set and those kids are just so cute. Now I feel like a lot of stamp sets came out this year for birthday cards. My favorite of all of them is the My Favorite Things Make a Wish because of these candles. These candles could be made cutesy or more classic if you wanted to. You can stamp the flames with a heart on them if you want. There is a die set available that goes nicely with it so you could cut the candles out of felt if you wanted to. And the sentiments are really fun. I like the Make a Wish that you could stamp right across it and gold heat emboss. It's a fun birthday set that you could use for anybody. Now two stamp sets that I have used a ton this year is the Mama Elephant Happy Mail and Incoming Mail stamp sets because these are all about making cards and card makers just need these sets. Now the first one has many cute pandas holding envelopes or putting mail in a mailbox, all kinds of images. They're hard to even tell what they look like because I used them so many times. Here are several of them that I die cut and colored so you can see what they look like. Now in the Happy Mail set there on the left, there are also things that you can use to decorate your envelopes if you want to. I just think these are cute and as a card maker, there's nothing better, especially when you're making a card for a fellow card maker. Now a great stamp set that covers pretty much every occasion is the Simons's Stamp Happy Days. This would be great for beginners. There are tiny little sentiments in there that are so much fun to add to cards or the inside of cards. That sun I have used many times with different greetings about sunshine. This is a fun set and the dies that are available make them even faster to use. The Little Inker Lovey Friends. Now I just got this set and I am crazy about it. I went ahead and stamped a bunch on white cardstock and I'm gonna take them with me to my son's basketball tomorrow night. These are so cute. I like that there are many animals in one set along with some clever greetings to go with them. Oftentimes you'll find a stamp set with all giraffes or all dogs. This one has them all together in one. Now I know many of you are gonna agree with me on this one. It's the Tim Holtz Crazy Cats and Dogs. There is a Crazy Cats and a Crazy Dogs that are sold separately and bigger, but these are the images together in one set and they're all smaller. Now I'll admit I'm a dog person, but it's nice to have those cats for all my cat card making friends that I can make cards for. These are so fun and playful, especially if you put Google eyes on them. I used one of the dogs, the bottom left one, because he looks just like my dog Foxy. 
Okay, now the Your Next Stamp Silly Monsters. I don't think I've ever had so much fun coloring little aliens as I did as much as I did these. And I made these at a retreat recently. I just like these because they're perfect for any kid. I made a bunch of cards that my son can give to his buddies for their birthday. And look how fun Google Eyes are on them. I am head over heels over this Silly Monster stamp set. And I can't believe it, but I'm done. Those are my favorite stamps from this year. I, that was a long video. I am so sorry, but I hope it was helpful and gave you a closer look at some of the best design products this year. Be sure to head to my blog for links of all of these. You can do a search for all the different examples that I have on my blog or my YouTube channel. I appreciate you sticking with me for this long video. Also be sure to check out the stamp care video that I'm putting up today also. It's the next video here on my YouTube channel. And over the next couple weeks, I'll be sharing my favorites in other categories such as dyes, crafting tools, and more. You can also check out my favorites from last year. A lot of them still hold true. I appreciate you stopping by. I thank you for your time and we'll see you again tomorrow.